Let's have a look at area and perimeter with decimals. So we're going to solve, find the area and the perimeter for this box here. It's 7.86 meters by 3.5 meters. Just going to give you a simpler one to begin with. If I had a rectangle that was 2 feet by 3 feet, could you tell me the area of that? Okay, the area. Let's find the area by breaking this two foot into two one foot blocks, two one foot uh, spaces, and the three feet will break that up as well. Okay, we'll draw a line across here. See that? A line down here and a line down here. Now, each one of these little squares you see is one foot wide and one foot long, isn't it? I'm, I'm just, I know it's a little bit bigger, but each one of these is one foot square, okay? How many, and, and by the way, this is one foot square, or one square foot, which, is, which by the way is written as one FT with a little square on top, which is, is, is one square foot. Okay, measuring area, you're measuring space. So the space on your, uh, the space on your wall. How much paint you need to put in your wall? The the space on your floor. How much carpet you need? The square foot of carpet you need to put down on your floor. So area is space. It, it's it's um flat uh, flat space. Okay, um. So in any case, how many square feet have we got in this rectangle? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. How did you get that? You just went two times three equals six, right? So this answer is six, but it's it's in fact six square feet. Six FT squared, right? So finding the area, all we have to do is multiply the length times the width. So to find the area here, we just go 7.86 meters times 3.5, and we just multiply, right? So can you multiply that and get the answer? See if you can press pause and do that yourself, then I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it now. So we go 5 times 6 is 30, carry the 3. Uh, 5 times 8 is 40, and 3 is 43, carry the 4. And 5 times 7 is 35, and 4 is 39. Put down a placeholder zero and multiply by three. Okay, three times six, eighteen. Put down eight, carry one. Three times eight, twenty-four, and one twenty-five, carry two. Three times seven, twenty-one, and two is twenty-three. Add everything: zero, eleven, carry the one, fifteen, carry one, seven, and then two. And what's the final answer? Do you remember what to do at the end? We well, have to count the amount of the decimal places that we have in the question to figure out how many we need in the answer. Now we have one, two decimal places here, and then one more here. That's one, two, three. So we need three in the answer. One, two, three. See that? So the answer is 27.51. Okay? So the area is 27.51, and because we're measuring in meters, this little m means meters, the answer is in square meters, meter or meters squared, which is m with a little square up here. 27.51 meters squared, okay? Now finding the perimeter, finding the perimeter, let's go back to our original rectangle. We have two times three, okay? What's the perimeter of that? I'll just I'll just do it down here again. It's got two feet here and three feet here. Some people like to say the perimeter of that is two plus three equals five. Is that correct or is that incorrect? Is that the perimeter? Perimeter means the distance all the way around the outside. This distance, this distance, okay, and what else do we need? 
If I just added up these two distances, 2 and 3 to get 5, I wouldn't be going all the way around the outside. I have to go all the way around. So I need to go here, here, and I need this part also, and this part. So the problem is, if I just add up two sides, I'm forgetting about this two feet here and this three feet down here. So this is wrong. It's not five. It's two plus three plus two plus three again, isn't it? Okay, what does that make? Makes ten, doesn't it? So I've got to go all the way around, and these are feet. And I'm just walking around it. I'm just getting the distance around the outside. So it's not feet squared or anything. It's just feet. Perimeter is just measured in feet in, in this case, right? So what's the perimeter of this box here? Okay. So the perimeter of this box is not just 3.5 plus 7.86. It's 3.5 plus 7.86, but don't forget we have another 3.5 meters here and another 7.86 meters here. So we have to measure, add up all of these four numbers, okay? So the total perimeter for this guy is 7.86 added twice, right? And then 3.5 added twice. Now if we're adding, if we're adding, what do we do with the decimal points? They must be underneath each other. See that? Does that make sense? And if you want, you can put in a placeholder zero for the 3.5 because we're adding, okay? Now, if I add these up, six and six is 12, put down two, carry the one. Five and five is 10 and one is 11, and eight is 19, and eight is 27, and carry two. 2 and 3 is 5, and 3 is 8, and 7, 15, and 7, 22, right? And this time, because we're adding, the decimal points are all lined up, and the decimal point in the answer just goes there, which is different from multiplying. When we multiplied, we had to count the amount of decimal uh, places in the question and put that into the answer. Remember that? But here, with adding, the decimal points just stay underneath each other. So the answer is 22.72, or 22.72. And again, perimeter is just the distance around the outside. Okay, So it's just measured in meters. 22.72 meters. Right.